What Harry Potter clothes we can wear that the muggles won't know we're wizards? So recently you may have seen that I've been doing a bit of cosplay. Many hours have been spent trying to find the correct shirt, the right colour fabric, for whatever project I've been working on. Like when I try to find that check shirt that Harry wore to his first journey to Diagon Alley, I cannot tell you how many hours I spent looking at different websites, different apps, like hours and hours and hours scrolling, trying to find something similar. Like I even started dreaming about check shirts. The reason I want to find that same fabric is so I want to replicate it as best I can. It's like I've said before, you know, if it straight out of the film. It's almost like I'm owning a bit of that wizarding world and I get to live my absolute geeky life by including that wizarding world, which I love so much, into my life as much as possible. When it comes to looking at photos online or in those companion books, colours that are represented by screen resolution or by print can vary very much in terms of what it actually is. And that's where the magic of the Harry Potter studios come in. And this actually happened when we were replicating Dumbledore's coat from the Crimes of Grindelwald. Looking at the first reference photo that we got, you can clearly see that the coat is a wonderful blue. Went and made that coat, a lot of effort went into making that, until more photos came out, which clearly indicated that the coat was a dark grey. So on the second attempt, it was actually my mum who makes all those magical clothes for me, and my mum actually agreed to remake the coat, so thank you so much mum for not killing me. But we weren't taking any chances this time. <laughs> so I managed to get some swatches of some fabric and on a recent trip to the Warner Brothers Studios making Harry Potter, I actually took these swatches with me and in that same light I held it up as close as I could to the costumes and swatched what I thought was the closest one to the fabric. And then I got the right colour. Now I know not everyone has a luxury of simply popping to the Harry Potter Studios to do some fabric swatches. I'm very grateful to live nearby, which is why when I find something that's screen accurate, I do a little dance. <laughs> I'm so excited and how to share it with you guys. And it is this Quidditch sweater by Lockhaven. Now, did you know that this Quidditch sweater is 100% screen accurate? Because if you didn't know, Lockhaven International actually supplied the films. So the sweaters, the tank tops, the cardigans that were worn by the cast members in the actual Harry Potter film series, Lockhaven supplied them. So can you believe that this jumper is actually the same as the ones that they made for the film? Like how magical is that? Like I was like, oh my goodness. I don't know what spell I cast was to happen, but Lockhaven has kindly gifted me this Harry Potter quidditch sweater. I have such a love for this company. Like I already own three of their other sweaters. I own a Ron sweater, a Neville sweater, and also a Hufflepuff school sweater. Can you imagine how excited I was when they contacted me? Whew, get a bit emotional. Of course, I'll leave links to these sweaters. Look out for those if you want to get one. I really hope I've showcased just how magical they really are. But you might be thinking that you might get one of these ones, but where are you actually going to wear them? That's why tomorrow I'm going to show you what I've been up to. And it's, oh my goodness, it's so magical. <laughs> I can't wait to show you just where you can wear your Harry Potter Quidditch sweater. So look out for my new video tomorrow.